Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another drive through digital review. Uh, this is the first in a little two-part uh, deal. I'm just going to talk about two apps that I found that aren't necessarily games, but they're very useful when it comes to uh, gaming in general. So the first one we're going to talk about, uh, take a look at is Scorekeeper here, and this is actually Scorekeeper XL. And I'll have a link to this uh, in the video and, and underneath the video. So this is for keeping score in the game. So here we've got uh, basically four players lined up. Uh, you can easily add the score here, so you can count it up. You can see it's telling you how much you're adding. So you added 26 points this round, let's say, and then it'll close up. And then, so there's 26. So next round, say we need to add 10 points. You don't even really need to count. You just follow that number there, and then it's going to add that there. So the next thing we can do is maybe edit uh, the guy there. And so we can edit. We can put in you know some different letters here. Do like that. We can even delete them. Uh, we can hit this. You can change the player's color. And it has a little musical chimes there. You can... That's kind of neat. So we can just edit that like that. We put that there. And so then we can reset all the players' scores. You can see the UI is really nice on this. Uh, you can flip this, you know, you can resort it. Basically, you know, sometimes having the lowest score is more important. You can turn the sound effects off here. So anyway, it's a very simple little app. Uh, you know, it, we uh, one day we kind of browse through the app store. Uh, some of my friends of mine kind of look for a really nice scorekeeping app for card games like Haggis and, you know, Teach You and things like that. Uh, so this is kind of the one we still on. Everybody's got this on their phones or, in this case, the iPad. So that's Scorekeeper XL. And again, I'll put a link in the description.